Yeah, yeah, what's going on everybody? Super Mario 81, aka Asthmatic. And today I'm gonna be doing the race change on the Elder Scrolls Online. Alright, so I've been playing with a Nord for about three months now. It's actually the first character that I did create when I got the Elder Scrolls Online. So I really didn't know much about it. I just know a Nord and, and Dragon Knight. Um, throughout my time playing, I, I've actually created other characters and learned their play style. And um, I started to notice that my my Nord wasn't really the best race. Actually, I, I found them to be one of the least compatible races with my play style. At first, it was fine, you know, playing, whatnot, you know. But then one time, we all update came out, and you know, everything's at your level. So you have to kind of manage your game style a little bit better anyways i just figured out a dark elf is better for my class because you know you can't change class so i uh, went ahead and changed it to the dark elf now i'm just this is like pre-recorded footage i'm just showing you a little bit of the notion you go through it whatnot it costs like fucking three thousand crowns so i mean it is expensive that's about 30 bucks of your cash if you were to actually buy it. Now, some people could be like, you know, hey, why didn't you just create another character and start all over? The thing with me is that I put so much time into this character and to start over again, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, I have over a hundred hours with this one character alone and I've done so much, so much quest with this one and I just invested so much time that I really don't want to start all over again just because of a character but you know I do want to continue playing and being a better character now actually the class that I did like the most is a Templar but I can no longer switch to that class with the, as of now I can't switch to that class with this character so I'll just deal with what I have you know I'll work with it you know, uh, Dark Knight is a uh, Dark Knight. A Dragon Knight is not that bad, actually. I've actually been playing as a sorcerer lately for some reason with the staff, and it's working pretty good as, as well with the staff. Like when I first started playing, I was playing with the with the dual with the dual two hand with the two hand sword. So uh, you know, I'm just gonna work with it and uh, finish it out. It's not bad. I'm telling you, as a, as a mage, he's working really good. I also like the uh, the racial skills for the for the dark elf, which increases both stamina and magicka, to where the Nord only had pretty much only stamina. My Nord also had a a racial passive that I felt it really was useless. It's the one where you um you get protection against the cold and whatnot. And I've been playing this game for hundreds of hours and there's not one time that I can remember using that damn passive so it's it's a big investment I, I ain't gonna lie you know I really did think about this for like two days but I, I found it was just the best option for me at this point One thing I always do when I'm trying to create my character, I try to make it look as close to me as possible. I mean, to every detail. Like I do have short hair, I rock a goatee, you know, and I do have kind of like, you know, <laughs> a little meme bug. So uh, I try to make all my uh, characters look somewhat like me. Anyways, that's pretty much all I gotta say. I mean, just I'm gonna let the video play out, you know. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can put in the comments. If not, I'll check you guys out on 
ESO Online. Peace.